Hello, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play Persona 5 on your PC with the RPCS3 PlayStation 3 emulator. In this video I will try to cover all of the things needed to enjoy this masterpiece of a game on PC and a few tweaks to make this game fully playable on lower end systems like mine. First things first, you're going to need Persona 5, the game, on your PC. In the description you will find a guide on how to legally dump this game from your PS3 or from a Blu-ray drive. Secondly, you're going to need RPCS3, the emulator itself which you can download for free from the official website. Just click on the download button and download the latest build by pressing download from Windows or Linux respectively. You will get a .7-zip file which you can extract using WinRAR or 7-zip to any location you want. And the third thing that you're also going to need is a real PS3 firmware which you can download from Sony's own website. This link will also be in the description of this video. Now we actually get to the fun part. Open up RPCS3 and select File, Install Firmware, and find your PS3 update.pop file that you just downloaded. Select it and click Open. After this, we are going to add our Persona 5 game on RPCS3 by pressing File, Add Games, finding the folder where Persona 5 is installed, and pressing Select Folder. We now have Persona 5 on RPCS3, but we are not quite ready to play it yet. First, we need to configure our control. Press Pads and select X input if you have an X input controller, DualShock 3 if you have a DualShock 3 controller, DualShock 4 if you have a DualShock 4 controller, etc. Now most of these things should be already configured by default and you don't have to press anything just click save. The next thing we'll do is enable the patch that allows us to play Persona 5 at 60 FPS on RPCS3. You'll do that by pressing manage game patches on the shown games, download the latest patches, Persona 5, finding the version of the game that you have, and enable the 60 FPS patch. Click save, and that's it. On modern systems like mine, you will have to configure some things to get the game running smoothly on RPCS3. You will do that by clicking right click, change custom configuration. Now, you should copy my settings that I use on my system, which will probably work for you too. The most important things are, preferred SPU threads, I use 2, but I heard some people have better performance with 3 or 4. For me, the best standard is 2. SPU block size sh should be set to Mega, this also helps with the performance of it. In the GPU tab, you should always use Vulkan, and all of this should be pretty much at default. The only thing you change is resolution scale, which uh, boosts the resolution of the game, or upscales the game to 4K or 1080p or whatever you set. You can even go up to, 4, up to 10K, but that's not recommended. In these tabs, you should just keep the default settings. Now, when you come to advanced, you should have maximum numbers of spurs threads set to 3. Like with uh, SPU threads, you can use 2, 3, 4. For me, the best is 3, but you can experiment with it. Now, on higher end systems, if you don't see any issues with the game, just keep this at default settings. Only use Vulkan. Because on CPUs with more cores, I heard that it can negatively impact performance to do this. On lower end CPUs like mine which has 4 cores and 4 threads, this is the best standard. After all of this is done, you can just launch the game by double clicking on the icon and there it is. As you can see the game is running at 60fps and it looks very smooth. Now, I am just going to get into gameplay to show that it's actually working. Since this is a totally new installation of the game, I don't have my save game so I am just going to start a new game and yeah, I am watching this for those the who oppose time. you are the good now get this is our own stay calm we'll retrieve the mm -hmm. don't worry about as you can see the game is working unfortunately Show my pc is not strong enough to handle 60 fps in all scenarios but nice work as always, Joker. this is also pretty pretty much great I'm just going to call like the first battle to just destroy the game strike. Stop right there! No In battles, we tend to get fire, yes. Go down! Okay. 
Alright. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, you can press the like button or subscribe to my channel. If you have still if you still have issues with the game, you can comment down below and I will gladly check it out. Thanks and see you later.